Hello, my name is Trisha. Welcome to my channel, Career Clinic with Trisha. It's so good to have you here once again. Thank you so much for dropping by and thank you for all the support. I'm really grateful. So if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of my next video. In this video, we are discussing the difference between emotional intelligence and personality and emotional intelligence and intelligent quotient. With me to do this is Alhaji Abubakar Kwame Isuman, Head of Human Resources at the Bank of Africa, Ghana, one of the best brains in the HR fraternity and my former boss. So if you are ready, let's get started. Are people born with emotional intelligence? Because you know that some people are either born <laughs> intelligent or not. So is emotional intelligence also like that? Are people born with emotional intelligence or not? That's a great question. You see, luckily um, for everybody, um, emotional intelligence is a skill okay. that can be learned, that can be developed. Hmm. It's actually um, a learned behavior. So you have to go at it and learn. It's just like you learn anything else. You learn to do, to play tennis, to play golf, to play football. Excuse me. You may have a certain baseline of um, um, a certain personality that will help you maybe to learn it faster than others. Okay. But everybody um, can learn emotional intelligence. So, um, in effect, it is not an innate talent okay. that one is born with. And so if you are not born with it, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. So um, every, everybody and anybody can learn emotional intelligence. Wow, this is good news. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Abu, please help us understand because we are aware of IQ, intelligence quotient, mm -hmm. And you mentioned, mm -hmm. okay, you were explaining person, um, uh, emotional intelligence, you mentioned personality in, along the line. Please help us distinguish between emotional intelligence, personality, and IQ or intelligent quotient. Okay. So um, let me start with personality first because I, I alluded to that early on and then I'll come back and also talk about IQ. Okay. Um, yes. Um, I've, I've explained what emotional intelligence is. So now we want to look at how different is personality traits, how, how different is IQ. So um, to make it simple, personality has to do with the outward um, disposition of an individual coming out of certain innate um, um, traits. So in psychology, there is this thing called the five, the big five personality traits, also known as the five factor model. Okay. Um, and this helps identify the factors or the traits that determine someone's personality. So these five, the first one um, is openness to experience. So here we find out um whether or here you, you look out for people who are either curious or cautious um if you have people who are curious they are the ones who are always asking questions trying to um disturb the status quo um, um these are the people who end up inventing new things or bringing up new theories or new things or new ways of doing things um, in the office these are the people who um, um will ask the questions that will, will make or um, will, will cause management to change the way we do things, you know, excuse me. That's against people who are cautious, who um, are not too quick to take risk. So they are happy with the way things are. Charlie, let's, let's, let's manage this, how we came to meet it. You know, it's okay. Let's, let's just handle it this way. Uh, when, when it's time to go, we, we go. So for such people, um, they, will, they wouldn't want to change the way things are. So that is um, the first um, personality trait. The next one is conscientiousness. 
And here we are looking at whether um, people are efficient or organized. You know, sometimes you have people, some people in your team, um, you know, the prep, the prim and proper types. Yeah. Um, these are the people who uh, they won't put anything out of, you know, um, where they are supposed to be. When they come and their water bottle was supposed to be somewhere and it's not there, they will make sure that, you know, it is, it is where it is. Mm -hmm. So you have these people um, compared against, compared against um, people who are um, extravagant or careless. So um, that, and we see people like that all the time. So sometimes when you have such people around you, it's not, they are not intentionally being like that. It is, it is, it is their personality traits. It, it, it's something they, they have inside of them that is making them um, um, behave or show that kind of outward um, disposition. Then we have the extraversion um, 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 factor, which um, helps to determine whether someone is an outgoing person or um, someone is a, is a, is a reserved person. Then we have the agreeableness, um, whether someone is friendly or um, someone is callous. Then you have the neuroticism. Um, that one shows um, when people who are sensitive and people who are resilient or, or, or confident. So um, we need to know these things so that um, it helps us um, um, better understand behavior people um, portray. So as I have explained personality, you will find that personality comes out of traits that are innate to us. And I've already mentioned that um, um, emotional intelligence is not an innate talent and that um, it, is, it, is, it is a learned skill. So that should tell you that um, the two um, are different, um, but they are related in that somebody with, depending on somebody's personality, they are able to develop um, their emotional intelligence better than others or um, um, faster than others. So um, that is how the two are related. When it comes to intelligent quotient, um, it's, it's basically a psychological construct that measures our cognitive abilities. So it is more of um, our mental abilities when we say that you know, somebody is, is, is a shark. You know? and, and, and IQ is measured um, in terms of numbers. You know? So um, if somebody has an IQ of, let's say, 120%, we say that you know, the person is a gifted um, um, person. Um, you have to use some people who have over 140 percent and all of that. So, but those um, measure cognitive abilities. They measure our ability to learn, measure our ability to understand new things, our ability to solve complex problems or scenarios. So that is what IQ does. Now, um, studies have shown that. Um, one main difference between IQ and emotional intelligence is that how intelligent you are in terms of um, cognitive intelligence, it's not a determinant of how successful you will be in, in life, as in business or um, in your corporate life. However, the same studies have also shown that People with high emotional intelligence almost always succeed in their business life or in their work life. So um, this is one key um, 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 difference between uh, emotional intelligence, personality traits, and um, 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 intelligence quotient, that is IQ. So for emotional intelligence and personality traits, there's a relationship. Okay. However, IQ and emotional intelligence are two different constructs. And um, you can have somebody who, is who has a very high IQ, but a low emotional intelligence, 
and you can have another person with a low IQ and high emotional intelligence. And the one with the high emotional intelligence um, has the tendency or the 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 possibility to um, to succeed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned a thing or two that will help you to move to the next level in your career. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have already subscribed, please like this video and share it with your family and friends. Until I see you again, keep preparing for your dream job and your career advancement. Bye.